Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you to those, those amazing speakers. And the last one for today before we will finish the men event here is Dr. Chaim Masia. Asa, sorry, Dr. Chaim Asa is the head of uh, the simulation lab at the Tel Aviv University. He was the one organizing the simulation game that uh, was in the beginning of the year and he's a member of the Yuval Neman workshop. You, uh, Dr. Chaim Asa, the stage is yours. Good afternoon. Oh, I see nothing. Uh, Simlam, the simulation uh, laboratory in Tel Aviv University, Val Neumann workshop, ran a uh, uh, simulation or war game. I call it, uh, we call it uh, um, <clears throat> political cyber in Germany, uh, October, uh, uh, September elections in Germany means five months from now. We are going to show you now the starting event of this um, war game. So, shoot. Joining us, I'm Lauren Izo, and here are the stories we are following this hour. Classified documents belonging to both CDU and SPD German political parties were published online and have been causing quite an embarrassment for both parties. It seems as though the source of the leak is most likely from an attack on the party's computer servers. An investigation into the incident is underway by German authorities. Since Germany is a distinguished member of NATO for so many years, an attack on Germany is considered to be an attack on all of us and we will look into the source of the attack and we will try to um, see if we can take possible um, concrete measures against uh, the attackers. We support uh, the actions was taken by the Israelis and uh, we are uh, in a position where we are getting close to a point where we as a government need, need to take actions also. Also, we cannot take actions until we have clearly identified who the perpetrators of these incidents are, whether they're state or whether they're non-state. There are still a lot of questions surrounding, you know, attribution, what should be done, what are the trigger lines. Attribution is the key, solving the attribution problem is the key in the time scale of the problem. We need to make sure, both on the national level and international level, that all other organizations as such are protected from the exploits that were used to attack those banks. If you can answer those three questions, we know it, we know it is, we can control proportional damage, and we can control escalation. Um, they are willing to consider retaliation. This is a threat against Russia from uh, our German partners. I don't know why, because there is no fact of our involvement. Everything you say, everything you said uh, is fake news. I would like only to thank you. I think it, uh, it was important. I don't know if you understood, you understand what happened, but the CDU and SPD offices of Germany were attacked by what we call Meinhof cyber gang. It's something like an anarchistic uh, gangs that wanted to destroy the foundation of uh, democracy in Germany. They tried to incriminate USA and Russia. They succeeded to do it in this game. 
for two days. So after only after three days means three days before elections. Three days before election, it was revealed by the NSA and the German agencies that uh, uh, the attackers are Germans, the mine of gang. So what we see here, a lot of uncertainty about who is the attacker, who is, what is the origin of attack. Uh, this is a real problem that I don't know how to deal with it. It takes time. We need to think about it. And the second question is, even we know who is the attacker, I'm not sure we know how to react. This we will uh, maybe check in the next war game. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, two things are going to happen now. First of all, I want to say thank you. Um, this part of the conference just finished. It's not the end of the conference. More amazing things are going to happen. Number one, we're going to have the Cyber Storm competition here on this stage. It's really exciting. I really encourage you to stay here. But you should remember that during the next, uh, the, the next days, there are other events in the university. Um, we have B-Sides, we have Tech Talks, we have mobility, uh, cybersecurity with mobility. We have so amazing, amazing stuff. If you want to know about them, remember, you have the booklet inside your badge. Now, I want to say thank you personally for everybody, for everybody who's been here, to the audience, to the people who organize everything. Um, thank you so much, and I'm going to see you in the next event. The Cyberstorm starts now. Thank you.